Are you guys looking for a county rich with history and a little bit off the beaten path, a little bit slower than Fredericksburg, Virginia? If so, Westmoreland County is the place to be. What's up guys, my name is Ben Kwan, I'm associate broker here in Virginia, and we have snow today. I was able to go out to a lot that we are going to talk about and do some drone footage, but it was so windy and we were on a private drive, I didn't wanna get all the camera gear out and have wind issues and all sorts of things. So I did some drone, I am back in the office now, it's starting to snow, and we're gonna go over the lot, but also Westmoreland County in general, kind of do a county breakdown. So first things first, let's talk about the lot. We have a beautiful lot, uh, it is 2.3 acres, again in Westmoreland County. It is right on the Westmoreland King George County line. Um, so it's not very far from Fredericksburg, maybe 25 minutes, give or take. Also very close to Dahlgren, which we will talk about later in this video. Really close to Colonial Beach, which is right around the corner from this lot, just maybe 10 minutes. In between Potomac and the Rappahannock, uh, which are our major rivers here in the area. And I think that could be a really good building lot. The lot itself is 2.3 acres. It is all wooded. There is a creek of some sort on the back of the lot, and that is where the easement is. So we will need to dive a little bit deeper into the study period on figuring out the driveway for this property. But all that being said, a buildable lot, 39.9 is actually what we have it listed for. Here in Westmoreland is a pretty good deal compared to if we get closer to Fredericksburg, where you're starting to talk to 70,000 to 100,000, you can get a buildable lot down here for 39,000. All right, so while we are on the subject of this lot in Westmoreland County, let's talk about Westmoreland County. We're gonna go over what most of the people moving to Westmoreland County are coming here for, some of the history and reasons people visit Westmoreland County, and also because I'm in real estate, we have to talk about the real estate of Westmoreland County. All right, let's get the boring things out of the way first. Let's talk about the real estate market. All right, first thing to note, when I look at the counties that I typically work, this is on the outskirts. Now, I'm down here all the time because, full disclosure, my mother lives here, and so I do really enjoy Westmoreland and really all the northern neck if you look at virginia you have everything north of the rappahannock considered like the northern neck and it borders rappahannock and the potomac river and it dumps out both of them dump out at the chesapeake so that's considered the northern neck and i really enjoy it down there it's very rural there's not a whole lot to do it's farmland and fishing so if you like outdoors it's a great area to be now if you like that city vibe probably not gonna be the place for you to live. Now there are a few little cities within the Northern Neck that you guys can go to for dinner and things to do, but for the most part, it's pretty rural. Now, on the upside of that, here in Fredericksburg and kind of the surrounding counties, our average price point is gonna be about 420 to 460, depending on the county. Down here, the median sold price is about 300,000. So if you're willing to put, again, that little commute 45 minutes into Fredericksburg or the surrounding counties of Fredericksburg, you actually can get a really good bang for your buck. It's a little bit slower pace as well. So average days on the market collectively is about 49. Yeah, just a slower pace. You're not competing as much as you are in Fredericksburg. So you have a great price point. You're not competing nearly as much. Things sit on the market a little bit longer and you have more to pick from. Months of inventory is four months here, which actually is now considered an average market, which we haven't seen, right? We have not seen an average market or technically even maybe a little bit of a buyer's market in many, many months, really years. After COVID, everything got messed up. I know we've talked about that a hundred times, but technically right now we have cracked into four months of inventory. I don't need to talk about exactly what months of inventory stands for because I've talked about it a hundred times, but just keep in mind, when to three months is typically a seller's market four months is average market and above that would be considered a buyer's market so now that we are in that four we're looking at that normal to buyer's market again more things to pick from a really good price point not nearly as many transactions are going on in this area it looks like on any given month it's looking between 20 to 60 transactions we can have that listed within a week here in Fredericksburg and the surrounding counties. So if you haven't clicked off this video already, because that is the real estate market, right? I 
have to talk about that because that's what this is. Let's talk about some of the other reasons why you would come and visit West Berlin. One, it's rich with history. And we'll get into a few of those facts. You have Dahlgren Naval Base, which is right around the corner, about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on where you're at. Um, so a lot of folks that are moving to King George and West Mullen are going to be looking more of, they're working in Dahlgren. It's a gigantic Naval Base. So that's a huge factor right there. But we do have people that will actually cut across the Potomac and go up through Maryland and go into DC. Now on average, if you're working in the Northern Virginia market, on average, your commute's gonna be an hour to an hour and 50 minutes, depending on traffic. There are days that it's gonna probably be worse and maybe you'll get some days that it'll be easier. If you commute into Fredericksburg and take the train up, that might be another option for you. But we do have plenty of folks that are actually living in King George and Westmoreland and commute up north all day long. Again, you get a better price point, but you do have a longer commute, almost two hours away, depending on the days. That could be really stressful that you're spending almost a part-time job just trying to get to your job. But people do it. Again, you get much more bang for your buck, so people do it. So for the map, because Westmoreland is a county, I went from Colonial Beach, which is a independent city just north of Westmoreland. Uh, I just thought it'd be a good starting point for our map to show you kind of the commute times. So I went from Colonial Beach to DC. Now Colonial Beach should be a video within itself. It's an independent city. It's a cool little town and it is definitely on the up and coming for places to check out with a lot of condos being built and a lot of restaurants, breweries, stuff like that. Marinas, there's a pile of marinas. So for boating activities and fishing. And then again, just a cool little town that's been there for a long time. That is a cool place just north of Westmore that you might need to check out. And again, we'll do a whole video on that. All right, let's talk about some of the history of Westmoreland, right? First things first, George Washington's birthplace. Obviously, everybody knows he was the first president. We don't really need to get into that, but th he does have his birthplace here in Westmoreland. Although I did kind of give him a knock on my last video. I know when I bought my property, last survey was done in 55 or 53. And in the survey, the markers were trees. Outstanding. Like this big maple, that rock on the back right corner, there's a rock and the rock's still there. But that, that's the, I like, kick it every couple feet, every couple years, you keep building some land. Mm -hmm. you know, no. Not so much. Uh, but, uh, Hence, but, what was that story about the land that they were selling 140 some odd acres? That's exactly what happened, yeah. <laughs> and they say that's how, uh, they say that's how George Washington got uh, rich. So now you're going to disparage the first it. president. Uh, <laughs> number two, you have Stratford Hall, which is Robert E. Lee's birthplace. And this was his family plantation. Of course, he was Civil War general for the Confederacy. Just a really cool place if you want to go visit. They have all sorts of events throughout the year that you can go check out. So number two for our list. Number three on the list, Westmoreland State Park. If you're looking for outdoor activities that you can do, they have hiking, they have a beach that you can swim, and then you have boating and fishing opportunities too. But a lot of good hiking trails surprisingly long ones a lot more than you'd think you also have the cliffs right there Westmoreland cliffs which is a pretty cool place as well check it out and the last on the list is James Monroe's birthplace so fifth president of the United States he was as well born in Westmoreland so really cool place really rich with history so anyway guys I just want to break down a little bit more into Westmoreland although it is on the outskirts where I work normally I do work down there plenty and again my mom lives down there so I visit there a lot um, Westmoreland again just a cool little place a little bit further out from Fredericksburg more rural more my style of living uh, with farmland and fishing and hunting and stuff like that but if you're looking for a good deal and you don't mind a little commute it's a great place to live as well so guys I hope this helps again Westmoreland is one of my favorite counties although I do not live in it and I do not work it very often I visit there a lot and I think it's just one of the coolest counties we have this close to Fredericksburg and the city. So I'll see you on the next one.